The more you are using Mac, you discover more and more apps that's not supported for macOS. Like Netflix, Disney Plus, and even Spotify. Of course, you can find workaround for Apple restriction to install the app you want. For example, I created a video to show you how to install Netflix app on any macOS. But it can be very frustrating and time consuming to search for new solution for each app you want to use. So today I want to show you the ultimate solution that allows you to install any apps that you want easily. So without further ado, let's start. The easiest way to install any app that's not supported on macOS is to install virtual machines that simulate working on Windows operating system. And if it sounds scary right now, the installation is much easier than what do you think. I created step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install and configure Windows OS for completely beginners. And the good news is totally free, so I recommend you to watch this video. You will find the link up here or in the description. When you finish with the installation of Windows operation system, you can install any app you want. The first method is to use Microsoft Store. Press on Start and click on Microsoft Store. The first time you press on Microsoft Store, the operation system installing the store. So it will take a minute. When it's done, Microsoft Store will open up and it simulates the App Store. To find the apps you want, go to the search bar and type the name of the app, and then press Enter. And now press on the Install button. In the end of the installation, press on Open. This way you can download any apps that you want to work with, like Instagram, TikTok, Disney Plus, and so much more. But in case you don't find the app you want on Microsoft Store, then open the browser, enter the official website and download the app. I personally prefer download apps from Microsoft Store, because it's much faster and safer. From now on you can use your favorite apps and watch your favorite content on your Mac easily, safely and without dealing with annoying errors. One of the biggest advantages of virtual machines is if you are not using them, you can turn them off and they will not occupy the resources from your Mac. Also, if something suspicious happens and you are afraid from viruses and malwares, you can always delete the virtual machine and install it easily once again. To watch more tutorials on macOS, check out the next playlist.